blaming, fighting, complaining. It's happening in politics. It's happening on social media. And it might even be happening in your home. And it's not a new problem. The Israelites experienced the same thing back when they were traveling from Egypt to the Promised Land. As they were going through the desert, they started complaining about the food God was providing. The manna, the quail. They started blaming Moses for taking them out of Egypt. They were blaming God. They were fighting with each other. They were fighting with Moses. And when we find ourselves in a new situation with the stay-at-home orders and many of us working from home, it brings new challenges. And the temptation is to be just like the Israelites and complain. Blame our spouse, the government, the kids, the schools. And this can lead to squabbles, arguments, stress inside the home. Well, what did God tell the Israelites to do? You look through Exodus, Numbers, you see that God had a pretty simple message for them. Number one is be grateful for what you have. And it's so easy to focus on what we don't have instead of focusing on what God has provided and blessed us with. So during this time, be grateful, whether it's for the extra time we have with our families or for the many other blessings. Number two is to be faithful. It is easy to follow God and do what we're supposed to do and to be the loving person we're supposed to be, that God wants us to be, when things are going easy. But when we are thrown into situations, circumstances where it's challenging, then we have a choice. Are we going to be faithful and live for God and obey for the next moment? Or are we just going to follow the flesh and not be faithful? And that's what God told the Israelites is, he said, be faithful. Keep serving me even though it's difficult. And then number three is to prepare for the promised land. As God was taking the Israelites through the desert, he was getting them ready for the promised land. And when they got to the land of Canaan, they had to actually put forth a lot of effort to win the battles, and to take over the promised land. In the same way here, when these shutdown orders, when these stay-at-home orders are lifted, we're going to have new opportunities. We will have more freedom again. And this time right now is a time to prepare for that, whether to grow spiritually, to grow in our marriages, to, to grow professionally. And many people right now are just seeing this as a time to just sit back and relax. And there's a place for that. But see, this is a time to grow, to maybe read the books you haven't had time to read yet, to work out some marriage discussions you just haven't had time to do yet, or to maybe work on some parenting issues. But see this as a time of growth. And when things open back up, we can hit the ground running and be able to serve the Lord better and also to serve our communities better. So what's the message for these times? With what God told the Israelites, one, be grateful, be faithful, and prepare.